your boy uh moro from heaven back with another video and i made that one up on the top of my head i felt pretty proud about it um i'll probably do something different i had a chance to think about it but dragon ball super chapter 67 um the sequel to one of the more polarizing chapters in dragon ball super history uh primarily because the first half looked like dragon ball <laughs> stereotype every dragon ball stereotype combined um and the back half looked like uh, for a brief second a glimpse into a manga that is polluted by tropes from 30 years ago um so what is this gonna be i don't know uh i don't imagine they won't spam oob anytime soon i feel like that's a part that toyotoro who did do i'm gonna give his props did do a good job with what he did with oob my voice is going out give me one second think about aquafina water is that it doesn't hit like normal water. My water purists at home should uh, understand what I'm talking about when I say that. So chapter 67, um, Moro is supposedly dead. I'm looking at the title right now on the first page and it says happy endings, ellipsis, just like your Facebook mom uses. And then ellipsis, just like your Facebook grandma uses. So let's see what's up. Um, so they, they go and congratulate Goku for um, it looks like it's um, a volcano type of thing behind him. Looks like they're congratulating him for beating uh, Moro. And I'm gonna say a lot of um because I'm trying to read this while also talk. Everybody's kind of celebrating. It reminds you of your general uh, Dragon Ball panels post defeat of the main villain. These are the uh, what are these? What are these these spiky things? Are they the um? The dudes that taught Vegeta and Goku the instant transmission. I don't know who these people are, but I, that's what I think they would be. It would be the instant transmission people. Because Vegeta came up there with the Galactic Patrol. That final massive burst of power came from. I guess there's still someone uh, here amazing here on Earth. I think we'll all find out in due time. So Goku refused to reveal the presence of Oob. Your kin. <laughs> so is that how we're gonna get a ooh for a couple of panels? Okay, cool. Now, does the great Supreme Kai or whatever his name is, does he have control over when he can pop out? Or. Hmm. I remember, I think when Boo, when Boo sleeps, maybe that's when Grand Supreme Kai can pop out. So feel good, right? All very feel good. I think we're about to see some effort reoccur. I'm trying to keep this clean. I don't know why I would even do that because if you mark your if you mark your video as uh, a kid's video, you pretty much get absolutely nothing for it. I'm just gonna try. Planet Zone. Third Angel Trainee. Oh, all right, pee my boy Mirrors. Oh, they revived everybody that got killed by Moro. Okay, I, I know I just read that, but I didn't really just read enough of it. I kind of just skimmed through it. Bro, say got any meat? Pause. Celery ceremony. Goku's such an idiot. Bro. This will be my first. <laughs> Super elite Jacko. Y'all prefer Jocko or Jacko? I think I like Jacko better just because it's... You're grabbing my junk on purpose. Is that a loose translation? What is... Anybody Japanese reading this, please tell me what that says in Japanese. Did that say junk on, in Japanese? Vegeta the fourth. Is that the fourth? Is that? Is there three more Vegetos? There's King Vegeta. I know there's two Vegetas behind him. Yako Tiramintipibichi. Tiramintip... Dude has a, a Middle Eastern name. Miris known... Now known as Miris... Ikonoichiya Boshi. 
Oh, they hard brought mirrors back. Nanda Scott? Was he revived? As an angel. Oh, they revived him as just a normal person. It's crazy. Ordinarily, it is the fate of law breaking angels to pass from existence forever. That said, I personally eradicate mirrors temporarily before resurrecting them as immortal. Oh, Grand Supreme Kai. I mean, not Grand Supreme Kai, just Supreme Kai. How dare you put our lives in a chopping block? <laughs> Supreme Kai's gonna get, get beers murked, bring Goku Black back or something like that. <laughs> Goku Black just pops in and is like, oh, I got you, I got you MFers right now. Why does Whis have to get carried? I've literally never seen Whis bend down before. That's a concept I'm looking for. You have to gallop faster. He appears to be pouring up with mirrors and others in the Galactic Patrol HQ. He appears to gonna like flick Goku in the eyeball for this one. The only the mirrors are gonna stay up Ultra Instinct. Cyber Patrol. Something resembling a faint distress signal come from the crater left by Mars as an explosion. I didn't deal with that might be. What happened to 73? Did 73 just remain 8? <laughs> they don't bring 73 back? You can't kill what 8 even alive. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He, 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 he answered my question about him eating 73. Is this, is this remnants of 73? Is it like a cell situation? I'm glad I got a blood ray on. Oh, it is a cell situation. Oh, Jesus. 73. Oh, no. I think it's pretty funny how he's magically coming back right now at this conversation. It's apparently it's been, it feels like months, I imagine. We better do a thorough check just in case. It did say 73, it looks like. Uh, so did Moro have any like other like soldiers working for him? I imagine Moro saved on that head. Did you buy this here? I can't get any of this. In a far flung corner of the universe, far from Earth. Master Goichi. Oh, it's somebody above Moro, it seems like. Oh, so they found 73 and then Moro kind of reverse engineered 73. Oh. This is going to be interesting. They're going in an entirely different direction, it looks like. So if you hit him in that middle of 
forehead thing. It just kills him immediately. I want the data inside of 73. Seventy three, I would imagine, has I guess pretty much a data save from Gohan, Piccolo, uh, Moro, maybe in effect, and all of the people he fought, maybe. But he seems to be very valuable. So that being that, um, I thought it was interesting. I mean, this is it's a bridge to a new art. This is literally the start of a new art right here. Um, this guy, this this is trying to remind me kind of I guess of fusions kind of. Like, I'm not fusions, uh, heroes. Um, and just this guy's design right here. Either heroes or like Xenoverse. It just seems to be kind of dressed like that. But this is, to me, it seems like with this, what he's, this guy's wearing, they're going in an entirely different direction uh, with this next one. It's going to be very original, it feels like. I don't know how, they, how this works in terms of powers, but you have a guy that seems to be using telepathy uh, and is working maybe as a mercenary trying to steal 73's data from a I guess universal evildoer that's been watching over everything that's happened Def I mean this this is deviating from the whole Dragon Balls uh, Freezer Force uh, I want to kill Saiyans type of thing. It seems to me they really want to take over the universe in an original way, which is kind of what Mora went for, right? Mora also was in that same vein. So I, I think right now they're Toro Toro's at least trying on a different direction, and I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, he's basically been doing it for two sagas now, which is cool. For people that kind of, I guess, maybe expected stagnancy, perhaps that problem will be avoided. As far as sagas go, with this being a definitive end to the previous one, uh, I would have this ranked. I think I said before, I like, really started going to ish with the uh, the the given the sense of being tomorrow type of thing. I think I had this number two behind uh, the the Goku Black arc. I feel the Goku Black arc is like the definitive best version, best saga, without a doubt. It's just the ending stunk, right? But if Moro, if I said about, I guess now five months ago or so, if Moro stuck the ending, which it didn't, it would be the best. It didn't, and it deserves to be number two. I think the thing about Universe 6, uh, or not Universe 6, but Multiverse Tournament, is that it's cool. It's a lot of cool moments. It's just, it's just at the end of the day, probably for quite a while, we won't see any payoff for that art as far as introducing multiverses and multiverse level, um, or universe level threats we won't like see that anytime soon that just it, it won't and to me it looks like it won't matter things i don't know how this will play out because they do have a guy that you know appears to have the ability just to get pop more powerful more powerful like without any kind of stop like he could just eat planets and he could theoretically get stronger and stronger become a planet level being uh, and that, that's in their power, whoever wins this little back and forth. So maybe it's become a universal level issue, maybe. Um, but right now I just don't see what little was set up. I don't want to say little, but it, it wasn't a lot of good exposition in my opinion in the multiverse. Maybe because they had to set up so many different people, but uh, I don't think that what was set up in that, even for like universe, Oh, the universe sits the one with Khalifa in them. I mean, maybe that starts having to pay off sometime soon, but I wouldn't even be. I mean, they're still developing this universe, like with Oob. They have to develop Oob, so that's still a thing in itself. So I don't know, so I don't know if we're at that spot to develop universe six as well. Um, we're gonna do Reddit right now. Blah, 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 blah. This next arc is going to be ridiculous. I see a lot of wild ish. I bet we get Majub too. I saw the Boo and Mr. Satan seem to be indicating he's going to lose him permanently later on. Possibly. I also see them having to bring Bro into this because if what I'm thinking is going to happen, happens, so we're going to have some angel power or something. Maybe even. Oh, because, um. Because Moro, uh, 73 touched Mirrors. He has the memories of an angel. Ooh. That's big. 
Vegeta 4. Maybe Vegeta 2 is a planet and Vegeta 3 is the father. Uh, Granola Saga. I don't know. Granola Saga. I've seen some people allude to what this is supposed to be like. And it's obviously been very popular. I mean, it trended on, um, F me. It trend trended on uh, Twitter, I think, the first day it came out. I tried to avoid it because people don't know what to do. The Sits Mater Saga. I can't believe we're in Sits Sagas at this point. There's a lot of hype behind this guy, by the way. I don't know if he's been in some kind of other media, but there's a ton of hype behind this dude. Uh, I'm very interested in it to see what that all is, is uh, about. I thought he was like a father guy, uh, father, uh, heroes do because of how much hype he got. But I just think he's just somebody freshly made and people are interested in him. All right. So we're going to end it on that. Um, 16 minutes. That sounds about right. Uh, I hope you all enjoy. Um, I'm really interested. Hope that they use granola and hope they use 73's powers, right? Don't try to force some nonsense like superpowers, like. Super Saiyan White for or super, I guess that's, there's a thing now. Super Saiyan White, uh, Super Saiyan like yellow. They, they use every color. Super Saiyan black. I don't green. Super Saiyan green. I don't know.